I got a call from the youngest person who is sitting in this hall, none other than Dr. Mashelkar. When I did my PhD and got my degree from IIT Kharagpur in 2000, he was the keynote speaker. And he was talking about knowledge economy in those days. A very inspiring speaker. And I was also inspired. A few years later, we got together to do something great for the humanity in this region. That was when the tsunami occurred in December 2004. And of course, there are several elements of science, technology, engineering in that. But the beauty at that time in the country was four departments of Government of India came together, came out of their silos, and said, we will leverage the strength of each. He was one such leader, the Department of Ocean Development, ISRO, and Science and Technology. If one of them had not joined that team, the system that we have today in the country, which is useful for not only those from this country, but for the entire Indian Ocean region, would not have been possible. The lesson from that is, synergy makes things, and you should do something for the humanity. So in the decades to come, when you are at it, think from what I have done now, how it is going to be useful for the people at large today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Just when I entered this place and we were guided through some of these stalls, a one young lady from Tamil Nadu, she told, we are at Industry 4.0. One thing I can tell you, we were all part of Industry 2.0. Sometime in 1980s, we heard this digital revolution coming up. And today, after 35 years, we are at Industry 4.0. So when is Industry 5.0 going to happen? Not after 35 years, but maybe 15 years from now, and I'm sure you will be, all these young faces here, will be in the prime of their profession. And you should try to become drivers of that industry 5.0. A couple of years ago, in KPIT, a great initiative of Mr. Ravi Pandit and his colleagues. There was a session on disruptive technologies. Am I right, sir? Disruption is the word. It has all encompassing impact. Somebody will get a shock. Somebody will get an opportunity. New industries will come up. And what you require is not to become onlookers, not to go for knee-jerk reactions like what we are doing today with the introduction of artificial intelligence. To look at the opportunities available to us, and we have brain power. Industry 4.0 calls for brain power. Instead of body shopping, we have opportunity for brain shopping now. And finally, be the drivers of that disruption, disruptive innovation. In this country, if you talk about innovation, there is one name that always people quote, that is Dr. Mashilkar. And if you look at some of the international publications, benchmarking that goes on of the various countries, one thing is very clear. One is the absolute position where India is not so high. But what is more important is when you talk about efficiency, the output by input, 
what goes in and what comes out of it, India ranks in the, among the first 10 over the last four or five years. That is the <laughs> novelty that we have in this country. And if you look at the World Economic Forum that talk about a global competitiveness index, which industry is always worried about, they look for that number. India is now 39 as of 2016-17 versus 55 or the previous year. That is one part of it. But more important that we have to take from that is innovation-driven economies survive and they lead. That is the role of innovation. And the old timers like us, we learn this in our economics, that technological advancement is a key determinant of economic growth. But today we are able to see that happening and that is where KPIT's leading position in automobile industry that we should be praising now. There was a period, a decades ago, people said beyond ambassador there is nothing in this country as far as automobile is concerned. But if you look at today, automobile is one place where innovations are coming. The human being is possibly going to be replaced by the machine itself driverless vehicle, if not the next step, many of those functions that could be automated, that is happening today, the reach is very large, the impact is very large, and we can see that in the day-to-day -day life. And today, many of these things that you have presented here lead to that point, and certainly that is something KPIT should be proud of. We have, and we must have, a dream for India that is to be in a prominent place. Today we talk about a five trillion economy in the near future, a 10 trillion economy maybe 20 years from now, be among the first four or five in the world. And that is going to happen in your life and you have to become the drivers of that new, modern, future India. Let me stop at this point, complimenting all of you, all your teachers, and I saw one teacher being so proud that the students got the award, and your parents, your college, and do good things, Make your institutions, parents proud and try to create and leave a legacy behind you. Thank you very much.